Hello world, this is Lockpicking Dev. Today I have a Stanley padlock, it is six pins. We are at the Salmon Cascades in Olympic National Park. Let's even pop this open real quick, show you around. Hopefully we'll get some fish jumping in the video back there. They are migrating, so they're jumping up the river here. If not, I'm definitely gonna wait around and uh, attach some video on the end. So a Stanley, this is six pins. These are great locks. These feel good. There's uh, pin six in the back. They actually require a little bit more turning pressure too. There's pin one. Not pin two. Nothing in the back. Doesn't feel like it anyway. Oh, there's our open. There we go. So there we are. Uh, this is all standard pins when I get home. Oh shit. It's not guttable, so um, actually it has a screw on the bottom here, so it is guttable in some way, shape, or form. Oh, you have to take the screw off in the back, remove the shackle, and then you can remove that right there. So yeah, I will get home and gut this for you, but it is all standard pins and six pins. But here, let me show you around real quick. Let me put my picks away, that way I don't accidentally lose them in the water. Go. So be mindful of my dog here. And so yeah, they're jumping up the river right there. And over here, I'm gonna be very careful. Over here, they're all gathering, getting ready to jump. There's just a absolute shit ton of them over here. Yeah, I'm not sure how well you can see that because the lighting, the sun's yep. just now getting onto them, but look, look at that. there are tons There's of one. salmon in here. I mean, just an absolute shit ton. You can see the little swirls from them. They're all just waiting for high tide, I, uh, I guess, to start jumping. And, and uh, that's coming soon. It's usually so, when the sun's about up here, so you can see the sun coming up. Cool. And, and uh, hopefully I will be here back to attach some video of them jumping up the river here soon. If not, I'll be home and see you soon. We already have this fully gutted, and actually I was wrong. So I'm gonna zoom in here, and at the top, our final pin, our pin six here, little focus. You can see that's a spool, and our pin five is a barrel, really thin-lipped barrel type pin, and pin one is also a double-ended double ended spool there. So not all standard, but the rest are standard. So we had a spool, a very thin-lit barrel, and another double-ended spool over here. And things to note about the lock itself is this is the um, back of the lock, the actuator. So kind of like a Schlage-style tailpiece there. So one of the uh, push pins and turn. You can see that the actuator provides no access for any sort of bypassing, which um, leads me to wonder then, because uh, right at the end of the tailpiece too, there's this wafer. I'm not quite sure what the wafer's for, um, because there's really no way to bypass it with that um, actuator there. Another thing to note right here as well is the cover of it. So here's our lock, the cover of it, this ball bearing right here. Um, fits right over top the Bible part when it uh, when it goes on there and that is an anti-drill uh, measure right there and let's see yes I did have to remove the pin right here to remove the shackle and I had to turn the key to remove the shackle and the spring and to pull that screw out the actuator itself if we look at that it is the an uh, American lock style sort of actuator so if you're familiar with those, that's what it seems like. There we go. And yeah, so, oh, one last note actually is the, the plug itself is overmilled. So you can see all the chambers are overmilled there and that's designed to give extra clicks. And if you don't know what overmilling is, oops, we accidentally dropped our spring for our pin back there. Let's make sure we don't lose that. That is our 
detent pen. If you don't know what overmilling looks like, it looks like this right here. So it's just a little extra cut down in that way. So yeah, there we have it. That is our Stanley padlock. Um, these Stanley locks are a lot of fun. They're six pins. They're hard to get in the States, but I got a few when I saw them, and I highly recommend you do. Um, yeah, uh, definitely fun picks. And uh, that was the uh, Salmon Cascades and the Salmon Migration happening there going upstream to spawn. And I'm going to attach more video of them trying to jump, <laughs> trying to jump that little spot uh, right now. All right, everyone. Thanks for watching. Now that the sun is out, I figured I'd take a video of you all the salmon. These are all just lining up, just waiting for the falls there to jump across. It is insane. All these big ass fish going up these little falls. Really cool.